welcome to the Board Game News Show. Happy Memorial Day to those of you in the US. Is that how you say it? I think so. Is it Memorial or is it Memorial? Memorial. I don't know, you got me. I have no idea. I have enough trouble just trying to pronounce like <laughs> designers and publishers' names. Say it with me. Okay. Kenenzia. Kenenzia. I got it. Kenenzia. Thank you for joining us here at Tantrum House HQ. I'm your host today, Will Meadows, and with me is the Vault of Secrets. Yes, and I'm the, uh, I'm Jonah Dew. But today, we're bringing you some of the hottest tabletop gaming news. Today, we'll be taking a look at two categories, hot new games just announced, and what's on shelves now at your local board game store. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Capstone Games just announced Savannah Park, designed by Wolfgang Kramer and Michael Kiesling. This is the third game in their family series, releasing later this summer. Uh, it's a tile land game for one to four players, where you'll be doing things like gathering animals into herds and leading them to watering holes, protecting them from brush fires. Nice. One of the games that got my family into the hobby was Catan, and the publisher just announced a brand new 3D version. What? Uh, all the terrain is hand painted for stunning color, and the intricately designed pieces are antiqued for a look that's full of history and character, and appears that it will be available for just about $300. Alright, cool. Orange Nebula just announced a big box solution for their hit game, Vindication. This will come with full color boxes and will hold all the cards for the base game uh, and all the expansions. And it will come with a new dual layered action tracker. Uh, it'll be available for purchase later this year on their website, so check that out. I really like Vindication. It's one of my favorites. It's very pretty. It's very good. Uh, in the new newsiest new... Hit there, stick it in. Who did this? Okay, Zomb the Zombicide game from Simon. Because you know there's always been a new one coming, they've procured the license to make a game based on the new Army of the Dead show on Netflix. I haven't watched it yet, I just saw the previews. That zombie white tiger looking thing? Crazy! It is a little wild. <laughs> a new reprint for Battle of the Five Armies from Ares Games is coming soon as well. And a new Goonies game has been announced from Funko Games. It's designed by Prospero Hall. It's for two to five players and features nine different adventures where you'll get to play as the Goondocks Master, uh, controlling fearsome foes and other players. You'll take on the role of the Goonies, trying to overcome challenges and solve puzzles. A new game from designer Eric Lang was just announced as well. It's called Disney's Sidekick. It's a co-op board game where the villains have captured your favorite heroes oh no! and you've got to take the role of the trusty sidekick to try to save them. You know what that means? It's game time. Uh, actually, today we're going to be flipping the script and doing something a little bit different. We're okay. going to do our first ever top 10 right now. Here are the Tantrum House top 10 sidekicks of all time. We'll be starting with number 10 and working our way all the way down to number one. Okay, I hope the script writer put these in the right order. I do too, here we go. Number 10, Dory from Finding Nemo. Is she a sidekick? I, yeah, I don't really know. All right, right. We'll, we'll let it, we'll, we I need, can see we that. The Disney trends, like the segue okay, into... I guess we are starting off with Disney sidekicks because the game was Disney. Right. Okay. Makes sense, here we go. Number no nine, Luigi. From the Super Mario Brothers. Hey, number nine. Yeah, I mean, wow. There's a lot of good. The other <laughs> eight must be great. <laughs> Luigi is an all-time sidekick. He is. But they're also Wait, although I think yeah, I think there's like a question on like, is he a brother? Is he a sidekick? Is, can your brother be your sidekick? All important questions. When you're when you're jumping on mushrooms and stuff, you can because you need. <laughs> sidekick. What about Yoshi? Yo. That actually might have been. <laughs> Luigi's, Luigi. I'm surprised that number. This is wild. Here we all go. Right. Number eight. Harley Quinn. Whoa. Villain sidekicks? That's right. Well, she's like, I'm actually surprised she's as low on our list because she's like the villain sidekick in the mind. Weird. This is, all right, that's three that I just didn't expect to hear. <laughs> that's okay. I really would like to know where this list is going. Here we Let's go, here keep we go. it moving. Number seven, Tonto. Classic. Classic. I like it from the Lone Ranger, right. of course. Yep, gotta that's get a, in That's there. a big sidekick. That's, a, that's again, number seven's a little crazy, but that's a big still, sidekick. Still more to go. Here we go. Yep. Number six, Marty from Back to the Future. Wow, okay. Uh, is Marty not the main character, though? That's a great question. Is, is Doc the sidekick? Can, they're kind of like a duo, pretty equal. I don't actually know how. I mean, without Doc, oh, there man. is no time travel. Right. He's and what got, about Marty's Einstein? I don't know. The he's, dog. Yeah, he's like uh, the... Third kick. Third kick. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Number five, Little John from Robin Hood. I love that. Robin Hood and Little John were walking through the floor. They got their own song. Back and forth about the other had to say. I like that. Yeah. Who? All what right. other? What other psychics have their own theme song? That's pretty great. It's true. Uh, down to number four. Here we go. 
Chewbacca. I can't do it. I was gonna try to do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I was thinking about it too. Uh, I can't do it. I can't Ryan, do it at all. We need Ryan. Oh, no, Ryan. Could have done it. Tune in to hear Ryan do the Chewbacca voice. Yeah, it'd be a lot better and higher. <laughs> Ryan could do it for sure. All right, we're down to the number three sidekicks of all time, best ever. The number three is Falcon. Oh, like Falcon. Yeah. Like Avengers Falcon. Right. Number three, is he a, oh, he's a sidekick. He is. He's, he's definitely like a Captain America sidekick. He's Captain America's sidekick. Although sidekick, now. Which now he's Captain America Falcon. Just America. Just Captain America. That's it. He's not just Falcon. Just legit Captain America. Captain Straight Falcon. Up. No, that's a different guy entirely. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's just Falcon, but now he's got a now, sidekick. Now, like Bucky, is he the sidekick? But that Bucky is a terrible sidekick. <laughs> Bucky was evil a second ago. <laughs> well, we've got the villain sidekick list. I don't know. All right, here we go. Number two. This is the one. Okay. Robin. Yeah. Batman and Robin. Yeah. I, I would like he does have a sidekick. I would have, if he wasn't in top. No, Batman has the theme song. Batman. No Robin. Poor Robin. <laughs> he get, he's getting the, the love that he gets right now. Uh, I would have if Robin was not top three, we I would have had an issue. We would've, right, we would have yeah. had a fight. I mm -hmm. agree. Here we go. And the number one sidekick of all time in the universe of all sidekicks is Who can be better than Robin? I really want to know. Are you ready for this? This yeah. is going. Sam Wise Gamgee, the Lord of the Rings. Oh, he did carry my guy. <laughs> he did uh, everything. Without he did. without the sidekick sandwich, there is nothing else. He did. I Number will, one sidekick. Yeah, he's a sidekick. All time. He's got to fit the Set definition. Wise. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And our last segment for today is On Shelves Now. These are the games that are available at your friendly local game store starting right now. Yeah, some of these have already been featured on our channel, like Mandala Stones from Board and Dice. That game was designed by Philip Cowitz. It's a beautiful abstract strategy game for two to four players. You can watch a full playthrough of the game, and we'll put a link above. Destinies from Lucky Duck Games is available now, designed by Philip Milanetsky and Michael Globiwowski. This is a competitive narrative driven game uh, <laughs> that uses an app. It's for one to three players. Uh, think of Chronicles of Crime meets a storytelling game, uh, and it's competitive. Nice. Four Gardens is another game from Arcane Wonders. It's designed by Martin Dozel. This game is for two to four players where you're gathering resources and completing landscape cards. The table presence on this one is actually pretty cool. Biblos Quill and Parchment from Dr. Finn's Games are designed by Steve Finn. Uh, it's a roll and write version of Biblos for one to four players. Check that one out. Yeah, and for now, that's all we got. So let us know in the comments if we left out any of your favorite sidekicks. And be sure to check back with us every two weeks as we present the new newsiest news. I feel like we should sing, like newsies. Oh, I could be up for that if I had a good song, but... Jim no, wasn't, wasn't here. prepared. Come there back it next is. week. Always remember, though, <laughs> you, you heard, heard it here, here first. What's the Newsy song? Uh, they got a lot. It's a whole musical. I know. I, mean, like, I can't think of a single one. There's got to be a good one in there, though. Get the news. It's uh, carrying the banner to the mall. Something like that. Something uh, like that. <laughs> Designed by Wolf Game Crank. Wolf Game. His name is Wolf Game. Uh, for stunning color, the intricately z z z <laughs> so is this big brand words. new? <laughs> All right, we want to know your sidekicks. What sidekicks did we miss? What sidekicks didn't make our list? What are the honorable mentions? I, so I got one. Do yeah, you? Yeah. Uh, the kids from Stranger Things. Not old, eleven. Not yeah, eleven. Not eleven. The ki the other All, kids. Everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying the other like three or four kids. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. And the teenage older kids and the no, not them. No. Just just, just uh, Michael. Is his name Michael? One of them is. Yeah. And you know the other kids. No, there's other ones. They don't have <laughs> the other kid. No. Oh, I know you're talking about the teenage kids. Right, the the working at the ice cream cool. shop. Yeah, and, yeah, still no, saving the them. day. Not them. No. They're just the kids. All right. Oh, kicks there. Never mind. Kicks. A sidekick. Uh, that's a phone. A T-Mobile. Oh, Remember those? Yeah. The sidekicks. Ooh. Number. Hey, that's really the number one sidekick. That was popular. <laughs> it had the name. Slide it up. It did the that, thing. It slid up like this. <laughs> that's a nice sidekick. <laughs>